This program is brought to you by Ignite TV. Now you're in command. Visit Rogers.com for more details. Hello and welcome to another episode of A Little Bit Fit with me, Karen Ross. So today you are going to need a chair, as always, chair with no arms. You're going to need your weights, your soup cans, your water bottles, whatever you've got going on, as long as they are the same. You're going to need your water. You always need your water. You need to stay hydrated. And today we're going to need a little extra. So you're going to need an extra chair or an ottoman or a storage cube or one of those stools that you use in your kitchen. You just want to be elevated off the floor a little bit. So grab your stuff and we're going to talk about our fit tip of the day. The benefits of regular exercise. There's a lot of them and they are all very important. So the things at top of mind when you think of exercise increases your muscle tone and decreases your body fat. You want to increase your muscle mass and you want to decrease your body fat percentage. Increases your bone density. It increases your energy levels, believe it or not. And it reduces your risk of chronic disease and illness, especially if you are predestined through hereditary things to have heart disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, all of those nasty things that can get you. It's up to you whether you turn those markers on or leave them off. It improves your mental health. It really does improve your mental health. When you're having a tough day, go for a walk, exercise for five or 10 minutes. Usually it's a 10 minute mark that breaks through that yucky feeling. Um, it improves your ability to complete activities of everyday living. We're not training for anything but activities of everyday living at this point, um, or maybe you've never been active at all. So what we're doing is we're training for activities of everyday life. Longer life, quality of life, not long life, not quality of life. You want your quality of life to be up here for as long as possible. So grab your stuff and I will see you right there in two seconds for our cardio. All right, let's get swaying, warming everything up, bringing our heart rate up slowly and safely, increasing our respiration as we go. So just starting that sway, lift those toes, breathe. Sitting up tall though, you don't want to be all slouchy. You want to engage your core muscles, sit up nice and tall. Bigger sway. We've got our disco vibe happening today. So hmm, what do we need? I think we need a disco ball right about here. Yeah. Way. Breathe, a little bit bigger, warming up the whole body. Breathe. All right, push and pull. Open and close. We're gonna put a little bit of brain work in our cardio today, but not quite yet. So stand by for that. Bicep curl, heel tap. Push. Okay, watch my feet. 
Look what I'm doing here. I extend my heel, but I lift the heel on the other foot. Brain work. Add the arms once you get your feet going. Breathe. Reach up a little higher each time. Big range of motion equals higher heart rate. Breathe. Out. Here's your brain work. Upper body, lower body, doing two different things, but we're still working that cardio. So we go to our transitional march. A little bit bigger of a sway, a little bit quicker of a sway. Pick your feet up. Instead of just lifting your heels, pick your feet up. Breathe. All right, here we go. Open, close. Open, close. We're gonna make it a little bit quicker. You ready? Here we go. Keep your arms to the front or take it overhead. Breathe. Back to the front, but opposite. Aha, uh -huh. yeah. Reaching to the front or overhead, whatever works for your range of motion in this moment. March it out. All right, this is so disco-y, I love it. Ready to get your disco roll going? Let's do it. All right, roll. Roll it down. Roll it to the side. Other side. Start again. Down. Side. Side. Up. Down. Side. Side. One more time through. Up. Down. Side, uh, side, opposite. It wouldn't be a little bit fit without those opposites. Reach it up. Brain, body work, all at the same time. Keep going. Got the eight count. Last one like this. Reach it up. Reach, reach. Reach, four more. To the front. Keep reaching to the front if it's too difficult for you to reach it up. Whatever works for you. Side, same side. Reach, 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 reach. Four more. Reach it up. If you want. Four more. That was more than four, wasn't it? Haha. <laughs> Reach. Up for four. Four. Three. Two. Take it to the front. Reach it up. Heel toe heel. Heel, toe, heel, switch. Heel, toe, heel, switch. Push it away. Heel, toe, heel, switch. Stay with the heel, toe, heel. Push up if you want. Heel, toe, heel, switch. Or push to the front. Breathe.
Push to the front. Breathe. We're almost finished. A little bit more. Come on. Breathe. We're going to take it to half time. Just go roll. Out and in. Out. Nice slow roll. Half time tap. Heel tap. Breathe. Out to the side for four. One, two, slow it down. Three, four. To the front for four. One, two, three, four. And sway, bringing it down. Bringing it all the way down. Bringing that heart rate down, respiration down. You know the drill. Time for water. And I will see you back here in two seconds for our strength training. Okay, time to strength train. So remember, nothing should hurt. If when you're using weights, it hurts, put the weights down. Don't push through pain ever, ever, ever. Go for range of motion only. Remember, range of motion first, strength training second. All right, we're going to work some um, ankle work and, and lower body work. So you're going to sit tall in your chair. You're going to extend your leg, keep your heel off the floor, and you're going to make circles. Rotate away from the center of the body like you've got a paintbrush on your toe, and you're making big circles. Let it come from the ankle. So keep everything else as still as you can, sitting up nice and tall, rotating through those ankles. We're gonna stop and we're gonna reverse direction. So now you're rotating inward toward the inside of the body, working through that ankle, making a big circle with your big toe. Breathe, pulling your toes up and then point, pull up and point as you go through that circular motion. And let's let that one shake out, going to the other side. Always sitting tall. Hang on under your chair if you need to. Extend, heel is off the floor, and you're going to rotate away from the center of the body. I've got a lot of movement happening, so I'm going to put my hand here to remind my leg not to help my ankle. Breathe, rotating away from the center of the body, letting that movement come from the ankle. Breathe, sitting tall, and I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna reverse direction. Breathe, rotating toward the inside of the body. Breathe, 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 keep that core engaged, rotate through that ankle. Three, two, one, and bring it home. Shake those legs out. Nicely done. So you can do those when you're sitting. Commercial breaks. Use commercial breaks wisely. Do a little bit of exercise in between um, your shows. Okay, so we are going to go to a front lift. So grab your weights, your soup cans, whatever you've got going on. Come to the front of your chair. Bring your feet forward with you. Posture is everything. You're going to drop it down here. And we're going to go to a unicorn horn. All right. So I'm going to turn sideways for a sec. And what I mean by that is we're going to lift that high. And we're going to bring it back down. So we're not lifting all the way over our head. Okay. So this is just working uh, all of the muscles around the shoulder joint, upper back and chest. So we're going to lift it up and bring it back down. Lift it up, engage your core, and bring it back down. Breathe out as you lift up, so breathe out. Breathe in, nice tall spine, sitting tall, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, we're going to do one more. 
Breathing out, breathing in, and release those arms. Good job. Breathe. All right, we're going to go to a rotational bicep curl. What the heck does she mean by that? All right. So we're going to do a regular bicep curl. So we're going to curl it. We're going to turn and then we're going to bring it back down. Palms forward. Curl. Palms forward. And down. So turn your palms to the screen. Curl it up. Turn your palms to the screen. And bring it back down. Turn and curl, turn and bring it down, moving slowly and mindfully. Each movement is its own. Turn and down, turn first, then curl, turn, bring it down. We're going to do one more turn and curl, turn, and release, and recover. Remember, you grab water whenever you feel you need it. That's part of your recovery. Oh, my goodness. All right. We are going to go, we're going to put our weights down, and we're going to go to what's called a pelvic tilt or a crunch, whatever you want to call it, but it's core work. All right, come to the front of your chair. You want to make sure you can see your toes out the ends of your knees and you're going to hug around like you're going to gather everything in and you're going to crunch the front of the body. Open it up, crunch the front of the body. So engage your abdominals, pull your belly button into your spine and then open it back up. Crunch it. Open it up, crunch it. If you want to, you can squeeze the glutes. So squeeze your butt, squeeze the glutes as you squeeze the abs. Squeeze, release, squeeze. And you notice we're not doing weights with this because the work is in the abs and in the glutes. Breathe one more time, squeeze it and release it and just shake out your arms. <sighs> breathe, remind your body to breathe. The last one we're gonna do is called a sit stand. It teaches you how to get out of a chair without hurting your knees or anything like that. And it strengthens your quads. Um, so I'm gonna turn my chair sideways just so you can see my posturing and my positioning. A lot of times people get out of a chair and their feet are tucked under, they hurt their knees and they pitch themselves forward. We want to get the 90 degree angles going because that's strong. When I stand up, I'm going to engage my abdominals and my quads and I'm going to push my weight into my heels. All right, so engage a little bit of a lean forward, push into the heels, stand up. I'm going to sit back down, leading with my back end, sitting back down push into the heels, stand it up, take it down one more time. We got this. Up we go. And down we go. So practice those. Practice those. Keep everything facing forward when you're getting up and down. So grab your water and I'm going to see you back up there in two seconds for our stretch. All right. Cardio complete, strength training complete. All that's left to do is our stretch. And you know how important it is for quality of movement and lessening pain throughout your body. So we are going to start with a tricep stretch. So reach up as far as you can. And then you're gonna to touch the back of your neck or reach down your spine. Let your fingers walk down the middle of your back as far as you can go. And you can feel a little stretch in that tricep, sitting up tall, sitting up nice and tall. Breathe. 
Remember, we need to hold a stretch for a little bit longer than we usually do for it to actually make a difference. Reach it back up and release. Let's do the other side. So reach up as far as you can. Even if it's that far, that's okay. Touch the back of your neck or walk your fingers down the middle of your back as far as you can go so you feel a little stretch from your elbow into your armpit. That's your tricep. Sitting up tall. Always sitting tall. Breathe. And reach it up and bring it back down. We're going to go to our hip flexor. So we're going to turn sideways in our chair. You want to get this leg behind your hip as much as you can. Lean forward as you do that. If that's as far as you can take that leg behind, that's okay. Remember, you start where you are. Over time, you'll be able to increase the stretch. But again, start where you are. And I'm going to come up nice and slow. I want to feel from my hip bone to the top of my leg, stretch out, and then I'm going to drop my knee toward the floor so I stretch my quad. Never take a stretch to pain. Tension, yes, pain, never. Breathe. And we're going to hinge forward. Hang on to your chair as you bring your feet back together. Turning around the other way. Hinging forward. Getting that leg behind as much as you can. Remember, work where you are. Always taking your time. Moving in and out of stretch position. Breathe. We want to stretch the muscles to allow them to regenerate and recover. We don't want to hurt them when we're stretching. Feeling the hip flexor here and that quad release. Breathe. And hinging back forward, slowly, mindfully, hang on to your chair, bring your feet back home and turn it sideways. All right, remember you needed another chair or an ottoman or your kitchen stool. I'm gonna show you with a kitchen stool. This is a modified figure four stretch and it's for your hips. You're gonna come to the edge of your chair, foot goes on the outside and you're going to take your leg and you're going to cross it over. So you drop your knee to the outside. You're gonna sit up nice and tall. You're gonna feel the hips start to release here. You're gonna hang on under your chair and then you're gonna hinge forward. Moving your chest towards your crossover leg. Breathe. Breathe. And then coming back up to tall. Again, moving slowly and release. Let's do the other side. Place your leg across your stool, your ottoman, whatever you've got going on, your chair. Straighten your spine. Hang on under your chair. And you're going to push your chest towards your crossed over leg. Breathe. If you have very tight hips, you're going to need to start with something very low to the ground. And over time, as your flexibility increases, because if you work at it, it will. You can raise what you have in front of you. And come back up to a tall spine and release that. 
I'm going to take that and put it to the side. All right, we're going to go into our upper back and our neck. So we're going to push away. Tuck your chin to your chest and push away. So you want to feel your shoulder blades move away from each other. Nice big stretch through the upper back from the shoulder blades to the back of your shoulders and then moving all the way down into your arms. Tuck your chin to your chest to open the back of your neck. Breathe. Always breathing. And now we're going to lift. Push to the ceiling. You're almost lifting yourself out of your chair. Torso stretch. Breathe here. Remember, your arms are above your head. And as soon as you do that, your heart rate increases. So you want to make sure that you breathe through this stretch. Breathe. Release the hands and you're going to start to make slow circles all the way down. Work through those wrists, work through those fingers, all the way down. Breathe. We're almost there, my friends. We're almost there. Breathe. Last one. Bring your hands to your lap. Nicely done. Grab your water and I will see you back up there for our recap. All right, there's another episode of A Little Bit Fit Complete. Be proud of yourself. You worked very hard. You worked very hard. Sometimes the hardest part is getting started and you did it. You did it. You stuck with it. So be very, very proud of yourself. All right, let's recap our fit tip. The benefits of regular exercise, there's a lot of them. Increase your muscle tissue, decrease your body fat percentage, increases bone density. And if you are predestined, if you have a lot of people in your family that have heart disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, all of those nasty things, you're already predestined to that. But whether you turn on those biomarkers or not depends on your activity level and a lot of other things. So regular exercise, quality of life for as long as you live. All right. Really, really important. So keep moving. It doesn't matter what you're doing. Just keep moving. So remember, knowledge is power. And the more you know, the more you can grow. So I will see you again very soon for another episode of A Little Bit Fit with me, Karen Ross. Take care and be well. the Rogers TV viewer response line. Email us or connect with us on social media.